Hey everybody, Luis Perez here with another iBooks author tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a 3D model into your iBooks document. Now these models can be really good when you want to show uh, a piece of architecture or something like that where you want students to be able to explore it from different perspectives. So let's pretend that here I'm doing a lesson on 9-11 and I want to be able to add a 3D model of the original World Trade Center. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is go into the toolbar choose widgets and then 3D and like any other widget I can go ahead and I can move this widget around and position it as desired using the guides alright so now we need to locate our 3D model a great place to find these models is to go into the Google 3D warehouse the address for that is sketchup.google.com slash 3D warehouse once I'm on that page I can go ahead and do a search locate a model of the original World Trade Center I'll go ahead and click on the search result and then here I can see a preview of the model and right underneath the preview I can choose download model and there's different versions you can download this as depending on which program you're going to use it with such as SketchUp or Google Earth but the one we want is the Collada model so I'll go ahead and click on download Collada now I've already done that to save us some time so if I go into the desktop here's the zip file that includes that model and then I've expanded that zip file by double clicking on it into a folder inside the folder there is a models subfolder and then this is the file we want it's a file that ends in dot DAE. So there's a couple of ways we can add this into our iBooks document. We can just drag it in. So using drag and drop, I can just drop it on the placeholder. That's one way to do it. Or I can select the widget, bring up the inspector, go into the widget inspector, and then under interaction, right next to 3D file, I can click on choose and locate the file that includes the model. So again, that's a .dae file. I'll select it and click on insert and now my model has been added. Uh, there are a couple of things you can control here. So for instance, the object rotation, you can leave it set to free rotation or you can only have it rotate horizontal or both horizontal and vertical. I'll leave it set to free rotation and so now our model has been added and I could go ahead and preview this on the iPad so let's take a look at what this looks like on the iPad I have my iPad connected and I have iBooks open on the iPad okay so here I've opened my um, iBooks document on the iPad for preview and so here's the widget and I can go ahead and I can you can see because I have it set to free rotate I can basically take a look around and see what the buildings look like. Now this is a pretty simple model but there's some more complicated ones you can download. I just use the simple one because it's a little bit faster since it's a smaller file. I can also pinch out and bring that model up in full screen view. So again this is something that can bring uh, if you're doing a lesson on World Trade Center you know this can bring the content to life for students who may not have been around to see what those buildings look like so in this tutorial I've shown you how to add a 3D model into your iBooks documents that you can then open on the iPad with iBooks this is a great way to bring the content to life for students uh, for example if you're studying uh, landmarks historical landmarks and the like